Head coach Rob Gogarty and the other coaches discussed the importance of their rematch against Booten and what it meant to all of the juniors and seniors. I, I, I couldn't wait Saturday morning for this time. All right? I was angry, all right? but I wanted to be better. We were better than that. We can give more than that. All right? We have to fly around, jump around, run around like wild animals tonight to get it done. Two years ago, Booten took home a state championship trophy on Cedar Grove's home turf, something that the Panthers will never forget for the rest of their lives. Booten came in undefeated that night, who had hoped to snatch a win on the Panthers' home field once again. Panthers defense shut out Booten's triple option run game, holding the Bombers without any points in the first quarter. However, both offenses couldn't reach the red zone for most of the first quarter. Senior fullback Patch McCarthy stepped up for the Panthers offense, who had finished the game for a total of 120 yards. Late in the first quarter, McCarthy punched in the Panthers' first touchdown with a 7-0 lead over the Bombers. But the lead wouldn't hold long enough. Booten scored 14 unanswered points in the second quarter. Quarterback John Riggs ran a play fake and found a wide open Ibrahim Fall to put the Bombers on the board. Immediately followed by Hunter Van Zandt's touchdown run. The Panthers' defense sparked a turning point for the game forcing Booten to fumble. Aided by Alfonso Lombardi's big completion to Michael Marinelli, the Panthers were able to quickly march down the field for an answer. Lombardi did the rest on his own. Both teams were tied at halftime. It was the first time in the season that Booten was held without a lead at halftime. Running back Hunter Van Zandt scored his second touchdown of the night to put the Bombers back in the lead. Panthers offense had a quick response. Nicoletta scored, and head coach Rob Gogarty decided to go for two. McCarthy was successful on the attempt. Although, McCarthy would fumble on the Panthers' next possession. But Cedar Grove still never lost any momentum that they had already gained. This time, Marinelli made a heroic effort for the defense.
Against Caldwell, Coletta suffered an injury and was pulled out early from the game with a concussion. This time, he came back stronger, finishing the game for 111 yards and two touchdowns. The Panthers brought their vengeance on Booten on the same field that they had lost their state title two years ago. The Cedar Grove Panthers were now conference champions.